Each week, we take three questions from our subscribers and our fans. Let's see if we can answer some of these questions in today's video. What is a bone marrow biopsy? A bone marrow biopsy is typically a 60-minute medical procedure. Bone marrow is the spongy tissue present within your bones. It houses the blood vessels. It also houses the stem cells that facilitate the production of bone, cartilage, fat, platelets, red blood cells, and white blood cells. During a bone marrow biopsy, your doctor will extract your red marrow from the back of your hip bone in most cases. Then, this red marrow will be analyzed for any blood cell abnormalities. The lab will analyze your marrow to see if it produces healthy blood cells. If it isn't, they will try to find out the cause, which may be an infection, cancer, or a disease of the bone marrow. Why do a bone marrow biopsy? A bone marrow biopsy or examination gives detailed information about your bone marrow's health and blood cells. Your healthcare provider may ask you to do a bone marrow examination if blood tests aren't standard or do not provide enough information about an underlying condition. A bone marrow biopsy may help to diagnose a health condition or disease involving blood cells or the bone marrow, determine the stage of an illness or how fast it is progressing, determine whether the iron levels in your blood are adequate or not, investigate a fever of unknown origin. Is a bone marrow biopsy painful? A biopsy pain is reported to be average, short-lived and not as severe as anticipated. According to some studies, the pain of biopsy is linked to the duration and difficulty of the procedure. The pain is usually less if the biopsy is completed within 10 minutes. Another factor that affects determines the severity of your pain is your anxiety level. People who understand bone marrow biopsy usually experience lesser pain than others. How is bone marrow biopsy performed? A bone marrow test can be performed in a clinic, in your doctor's office, or at a hospital. An oncologist or hematologist usually performs the procedure. An oncologist is a doctor who specializes in cancer. A hematologist is a doctor who specializes in blood disorders. The biopsy itself is typically a 10-minute procedure. Before the procedure, you will change into a hospital gown. First, your blood pressure and heart rate will be checked. Then you will be asked to lie on your stomach or sit on your side. After that, a local anesthetic will be applied to the skin and the bone to numb the test area. Most biopsies are taken from the chest bone or the ridge of the rear hip bone. You will feel some sting as your doctor injects the anesthetic, then a tiny incision will be made to allow easy passage of a hollow needle through your skin. The needle will penetrate the bone and harvest the red marrow. However, the hand will not come anywhere near your spinal cord. Therefore, you may feel some discomfort or dull pain as the needle penetrates your bone. After the biopsy, your doctor will apply pressure to the treated area to stop the bleeding and bandage the spot. What do your results mean? A primary purpose of the biopsy is to find out whether your bone marrow is functioning properly, and if not, to determine why. Your sample will be examined by a pathologist who will perform several tests to help determine the cause of any abnormalities. If you have a certain type of cancer like lymphoma, a bone marrow biopsy is done to help stage the cancer by determining whether or not the cancer is in the bone marrow. Abnormal results may be due to cancer, infection, or another bone marrow disease. Your doctor may need to order more tests to confirm a diagnosis, and they will discuss the results and treatment options if needed, and plan the next steps during the follow-up appointment. 